Okay, here we go. So this is what we're looking at. So let's title this. These are your body cavities. All right. So we are going to fill in the body cavities and then we are also going to fill in the organs located within those cavities. So we are going to start at the back. The back of the body is called dorsal or posterior. And so when we're looking at this, we're looking at this big bracket. And it is the whole back of the body that is dorsal or posterior. Okay. Then we're going to go up to this top area right here. Most of you should know what organs located in there. The region is called cranial, like my cranium. And inside of there is my brain. So let's pick a color. I'll color in this bracket. Okay, and that's where my brain is located at. The next region we're looking at is this region right here. Okay, most of you can guess what this is. Spinal. And located in that is the spinal cord. Now, you may have said vertebrae. And so when we're looking at this, let me highlight this or color it in. I have my spinal cord that goes right down the center. And all of these are my vertebrae. Attention students with Michaela Burkhardt, Jasmine White, and Fallon Hoops. Please report to the guidance office. That was Michaela Burkhardt. Jasmine Light and Pamela. All right. Please report to guidance. Thank you. So now we're looking at the front. So when we look at the front, we are going to look at this top cavity here. And it is the orbital. And inside the orbital, it contains the eyes. So let's color that in. Okay. Then we go to the next region. And this is the nasal. Okay. And inside of the nasal is the nose. So let's color that in. So we do like nasal spray. You've heard that word before. Okay, next region, oral. So take a pill orally, you put it in your mouth. And we'll pick a color for that and color in our mouth. All right, let's keep moving through the front. So we have this region right here, which is the chest. And if you think back to biology, the chest was thoracic. Okay, so let me mark this. So what's inside of the chest, the thorax? We've got a couple of things. We've got the heart. You've got the lungs. 
and we're gonna put the ribs down too that's not an organ but it's gonna be my bone that's gonna be doing the marking kind of marking where the thoracic starts and stops now inside the thoracic cavity is the need yes and um, and this cavity is going to be the hole in the chest that actually holds the heart so it's an actual space where nothing is where the heart sits and then in this next region this separates the thoracic cavity from the cavity below it and that is the diaphragm all right let's look at the next cavity so underneath the diaphragm stepping it step diaphragm separates the thoracic from the abdominal and I know you've heard that one before abdominal okay so we'll get a color here and so this is the abdominal region so what do we see in the abdominal region? Um, so some big organs are going to be the stomach, the spleen, pancreas, liver, gallbladder, intestines, Um, kidneys those are going to be the big ones in that area now the large intestines are going to come down the back into this bottom region not a lot but just a little so this bottom region is my pelvic region and I'm going to use this highlighter In the pelvic region, we have a couple big ones. We have your reproductive organs. And your bladder. All right, we gotta put those two together. You see that it's actually putting them together. So make the word, put them together, abdomino pelvic. That O is what brings them together. And then the last one, what is the front of the body called? Ventral or anterior. And so we will mark that. And that is going to be the front here. All right, that's it.